I was her first soccer coach. So I guess you could say I'm responsible for she and Matt meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Just she and I would bundle up for the last Bengals game of the season in the freezing cold. It became a tradition that continued through college. The traits Marissa developed in her teen years continue to serve her well today. Her perseverance, attention to detail, Creativity and commitment to always doing the best has provided a framework for her successful design business. Marissa has always made a point of being herself, and she sometimes exhibits a degree of stubbornness <laughs> and can be a little hard headed. Uh, I'm not sure where she gets that. But her big heart and her sheer love of life endears her to everyone. No father could be more proud of his daughter than I am. When we first met Matt, we were really impressed with his bright, handsome, polite, respectful guy. He always helped around the house when they came to visit, and he's a really great cook. But most importantly, he obviously cares for me. One of his strengths is his calm demeanor and quiet courage in dealing with challenges. A great example of this was their ill-fated trip to the boundary wall. <laughs> Caught in a sudden severe storm in the middle of a huge lake, a truly frightening and potentially dangerous situation, Matt had Marissa sing an old camp song by me, Marissa, and Foster. Caught the winds and the waves paddling the shore. So maybe we can ask Marissa to sing some of those songs later. <laughs> He's also a pretty quick study, having learned to drive a stick shift in the mountains of Peru by watching, not driving, watching the rental car guy spend three minutes circling a parking lot and saying, you got it, goodbye. In a foreign language, a language you guy can speak. In spite of all these positives, however, Matt does have one character flaw. Sorry, I had to bring this up. He really hates it when his team moves. <laughs> Especially when it's to Cincinnati. <laughs> so it's a good thing he doesn't live in Cincinnati, though, because then he'd have to deal with the Bengals. <laughs> so Nancy and I welcome Matt and his family to our family, and we look forward to many happy times today. So now I've come to the part where I'm supposed to give some advice on marriage and, and that kind of stuff. So I do know that you have to, to have a successful marriage, you need to learn many things. Loyalty, self-restraint, obedience, forgiveness. And those of you who know me uh, know that I'm still married. <laughs> However, I do know that there's no challenge that can be overcome by one or more of the following. I was wrong. You were right. Yes, dear. A gentle touch. And most importantly, a sincere I love you. But looking at these two, I think they've got it figured out. So as a child, Marissa would always ask me what she should be when she grew up. My simple answer was, be happy. Because if you are, everything else will be right. And today, I have never seen you. So with that said, I would ask you to raise your glasses and join me in wishing Marissa and Matt good health, 
good fortune, much love and happiness in all of your lives. Hey, cheers. He's a good writer. Yeah. I cry for everything. He's a he's a fighter. fortune about almost a decade ago to marry into this really um, loud and passionate, wonderful Italian family, <laughs> of which um, Sarah is a part, and uh, Marissa rather, and um, now Matt. So um, I just want to say to all the um, Italians here and um, those who are uh, wannabe Italians, I'm, I'm an honorary <laughs> Italian, I've heard, because of my lasagna. But uh, it's really, it's all about family, and on this day, um, Marissa and, and Matt, we just want to honor you, and I have a little story to share about